Hi brothers and sisters, Shane Dirks with you here. As you know, uh, the COVID landscape continues to evolve and change. And so as I met with the church lead team this morning, we thought it'd be a good idea just to update you on some of the things we're thinking and uh, how we wish to progress. Some of the things we need to manage right now is continuing to do what we love to do, which is church together, but also some of our special events. And the main one right now is Ignite which is of course a youth camp, but uh, over the years we know that it's an investment from a much broader uh, part of the church and a reward received by more than just youth kids. So we thought, uh, what are the things we should keep in mind as we go forward? We thought we want to provide and protect, we want to be safe and secure, and we want to lean on the wisdom and so lean on wisdom, but also the sovereignty of God. Providing and protecting means we want to provide services and a place to hear God's word in multiple ways. So that will be three uh, physical services, as long as we're allowed to do that uh, on a Sunday, but also to be able to provide them in an online capacity. What we're trying to do by that is not only provide churching opportunities, but also protect the different interests and choices uh, that we're free to make as a community together. We also want to make sure that we protect those who are anticipating the Ignite camp and make sure that there is a space for them to guard their health and their status with regard to COVID to make sure that, that camp can go ahead. So we're trying to provide and protect. We also want to be safe and secure. By that, we do all the safe things like wear masks and we check in and uh, we be sensible with how we interact with one another to make sure that we're not passing on infectious disease to one another. That's being safe, but we also want to be secure. And uh, secure kind of means not just avoiding uh, an infection, but trying to secure freedom by making sure that we don't end up in one of those situations where because we're at contact, we either need to monitor for symptoms at one end of the spectrum or to the other end of the spectrum, we need to isolate and things like that, which really can destroy some of the plans coming up. So we're trying to advise everyone who's a part of the Ignite camp just to be a little bit judicious about where they're going and uh, mixing with others and what sort of spaces they might go into. We want to be safe and we want to be secure and make sure that we don't find ourselves restricted. And finally, we want to lean on uh, both wisdom and God's sovereignty as well. We want to be wise and what that might look like is there'll be some times in the services over the next few weeks where we might be a little bit more simplified uh, fewer people on the platform and things might be a little, just a little bit more simple as we just manage our resources carefully to make sure that everybody's safe, everyone's secure, that we're providing our church services, but we're also protecting the team to make sure that whilst we run church, we also have a part of the team that might be kept a little bit separate to make sure Ignite can work as well. So sometimes if you don't see one of your pastors at a service, know that they're not there for a good reason. We might just be sort of separating ourselves to make sure that we can look after both uh, important parts of our church life together. Of course, we're leaning on God's sovereignty, which means that whilst we might be simplified at times and a little bit more basic, we're not at all scared. We know that God's word never returns to him empty. And in his sovereignty, even our meager efforts our great big God can do enormous things. So what should we do going forward? Well, make sure if you're coming to church, you do bring along a mask, you will need to wear one. And let's just look after each other when we are together. Now, of course, continue to pray for uh, the season going ahead. Continue to pray that all of our Ignite team can stay outside of um, becoming contacts or indeed becoming contaminated so that can move ahead safely. Uh, do anticipate a great time together in January as we look at five really great Old Testament books in the Five Festal Garments series. And uh, do not despair. Keep trusting God. He is good. One of the updates I will share with you, I've just heard from our women's team. They're going to take a break on the event they had planned, which was the cabaret. They'll save that for a better time where they can really enjoy that period with you rather than try and do something in a COVID compromised way. So chin up, let's stay positive. The new year is coming. Our God is always good in every season, but I just wanted to let you know, services will continue. Online will continue. Ignite is going ahead. There's just a few little tweaks we're gonna to do to make sure everything's safe. God bless you and I'll see you in the new year.